Welcome to Public Health IT, Unit 3. In this unit, we will be discussing interoperability standards in public health IT. The learning objectives for the interoperability standards in public health IT, Unit R1. Explain and describe the meaningful use and MIPS Advancing Care Public Health Objective. 2. Describe the public health engagement process required for meaningful use compliance. 3. Know the ONC certified capabilities of EHRs that support public health capabilities. And 4. List and discuss the public health IT standards used for meaningful use and MIPS advancing care public health objectives or referred to in the ONC standards advisory. In this lecture, we will introduce the public health objective in the EHR incentive program, otherwise known as meaningful use, and in the merit-based incentive payment system programs. We will review each type of public health electronic reporting contained within the objective. One of the initiatives of the EHR incentive program, or meaningful use, was to have EHRs electronically communicate with public health authorities so that the information collected could be used for public health monitoring and to improve the health of the public. Initially, immunizations, syndromic surveillance, and reportable lab results were communicated. The list expanded with each stage and eventually included communication to specialized registries supported by public health organizations, as well as private registries. The new MIPS regulation includes the same public health objective. The communication between EHRs and public health authorities is done using interoperability standards, such as HL7 version 2 and Clinical Document Architecture, or CDA, and terminology standards such as LOINC for lab results and NDC codes for immunizations. Starting in Meaningful Use Stage 3, the public health authorities can be electronically queried by EHRs for a complete immunization history and forecast on a patient to guide them in making immunization decisions. This type of bi-directional use of the information collected would allow health care providers to more rapidly benefit from the public health and clinical data registry sources. This change from unidirectional to bidirectional communication provides advanced interoperability. Ultimately, bidirectional communication with public health and clinical data registries could allow for clinicians to have a more complete view of a specific patient across the care continuum. It might also allow them to receive recommendations based on knowledge gained from the analysis of data collected on patients as a whole. Through the efforts of the Meaningful Use Program, EHRs now electronically send immunizations, syndromic surveillance, and reportable results to public health authorities throughout the United States. Other interfaces have been built to communicate specific disease information, such as cancer cases or other information of interest to public health authorities, such as electronic case reporting, healthcare associated infections, and others. The next set of slides will describe the types most commonly communicated electronically. Reporting immunization information to a local public health authority has been part of the Meaningful Use Program since Stage 1. The ultimate goal, which is reflected in Stage 3, is that a clinician is not only able to send immunization information, he or she can also query the public health authority to get a full immunization history and forecast on a patient that is created using up-to-date immunization information from a variety of sources. Syndromic surveillance has also been part of meaningful use since Stage 1. The concept of syndromic surveillance is to provide timely information to allow for early detection of possible public health problems. For inpatient, emergency, and urgent care, this means reporting on every single admission and discharge so that surveillance can be done on the reasons for admission and the diagnosis on discharge across a public health jurisdiction and patterns can be detected, such as a rise in the number of Zika cases. It is also possible for a public health authority to conduct syndromic surveillance on non-urgent ambulatory care. However, there is currently no standard widely adopted to support the non-urgent case. 
In this case, it does not make sense to report every visit, because there are so many, and many are not of a serious nature. While there is no standard implementation guide, some public health authorities have published their own ambulatory specifications, such as the NY City Department of Health, which tracks flu-like symptoms for non-urgent doctor visits. Public health authorities regularly determine what hospital lab results they want to monitor abnormal results on across their jurisdiction. For example, the list most likely contains tuberculosis. When a lab test on the reportable lab results list has an abnormal value, it is reported to the public health authority. Another type of data electronically reported is electronic case reporting. Electronic case reporting to public health authorities is triggered when a clinician documents in the EHR that a patient has a condition that is on an established list of reportable conditions. The current list of reportable conditions is defined by the state, territorial, and local public health authorities to ensure that they monitor disease trends and support the management of outbreaks. Examples of notifiable conditions would include patients having a contagious virus, such as Zika or Ebola. A public health specialized registry focuses on the collection of a specific set of data. It is administered by or on behalf of a local, state, territorial, or national public health agency and which collects data for public health purposes. Some examples might include hospital birth and death reporting antimicrobial use and resistance, and National Health Care Survey's results. A clinical data registry refers to a registry that is focused on specific sets of data, just like the public health registries. However, it is not administered by or on behalf of a local, state, territorial, or national public health agency, and which collects data for public health purposes. An example might include a registry for a specific chronic disease or traumatic injury. Perhaps a professional society manages the registry. This lecture summarized how public health objectives play a role in both the Meaningful Use and the MIPS programs. It also described the different types of information being electronically reported, which includes immunizations, syndromic surveillance, reportable results, notifiable conditions, otherwise known as case reporting, and information for public and non-public registries, such as cancer case information and health care surveys.